In convective heat transfer, there are several important dimensionless numbers like Reynolds, Prantel, Grasho, Freyle, and one of them is Nussel. Today, we're gonna talk about Nussel number. Stay in this short lecture. Wilhelm Nusselt was a mechanical engineer who introduced a dimensionless concept correlating the convective heat transfer coefficient and thermal conductivity, which is the so-called Nusselt number. The Nusselt number was a very significant achievement in convective heat transfer, actually. Nusselt equals H times L divided by K where the H is convective heat transfer coefficient in watt per cubic meter Kelvin. L is the characteristic length in meter, and the K is the thermal conductivity in watt per meter Kelvin. So, as we told, the Nussel is a dimensionless number, right? So let's check it whether it is right or not. Based on this equation, the dimension of the Nussel equals the dimension of the convective heat transfer coefficient, which is watt per cubic meter Kelvin. Okay, so this one. Times the length dimension, which is meter, divided by the dimension of the thermal conductivity. Here, this one, which is watt per meter Kelvin. So as you can see, the nominator and denominator cancel each other off. Therefore, the Nusselt is a dimensionless number. Now, let's think a bit deeply and physically about Nusselt. Suppose this is a fluid layer with the thickness of L. The temperature of the lower side is T1 and the temperature of the upper side is T2. The T2 is larger than T1, okay? It means there is temperature difference literally between them, right? So if there is temperature difference between two points or I don't know, two faces, uh, what happens? Yeah, heat transfer happens basically, yeah. As the reason of the heat transfer is temperature difference, as you know, okay? So what is the direction of the heat transfer here? Like this or like this? So T2 is larger than T1. So the direction should be like this. Due to the fact that the direction of the transfer is always from higher potential to the lower one. All right, I don't really wanna talk about these basic topics a lot here. Let's come back to the Nusselt story. Now here in this fellow layer, if the fluid is quite static and doesn't have any motion, the heat transfer is only conduction, okay? However, as soon as occurring any movement in the flow, the convection comes along. Okay, the convective heat transfer flux is H times delta T, and the conductive heat transfer flux equals K times delta T over L, okay? So, if we take the ratio of the convection flux over conduction flux here, it means this one or this one. So let me write it down fast. A convection flux over conduction flux. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It finally equals its L divided by K. So what is this? This is actually the same as Nusselt, you know? So I'm just waiting a couple of seconds. Please think about what happened here. Now we can express a couple of existing physical interpretations of Nusselt here. The first physical interpretation is that Nusselt is the ratio of the convective heat transfer to conductive heat transfer at the layer of fluid. The thing that you just saw yeah, here. In other words, it shows the growth of the convective heat transfer compared to the growth of conductive heat transfer into the layer of fluid. 
you know the second physical interpretation would be that the nusselt is the dimensionless convective heat transfer coefficient so does this interpretation make sense uh, what do you think let's think about you know the nusselt number is always equal or larger than one if the nusselt is only one then there is only conduction but as soon as making a motion on the flow layer, the sort of heat transfer is convection. And therefore, the Nusselt number becomes larger than 1. It means if you have a larger Nusselt, then you have a larger convective heat transfer as well. Hence, this interpretation that Nusselt is a dimensionless convective heat transfer coefficient is meaningful. Yeah, the third physical interpretation of Nusselt is that Nusselt is the dimensionless temperature gradient. Mathematically, this interpretation could be derived. So I mentioned the physical interpretations of the Nusselt. Now let's think about this question that what is the application of Nusselt? You know, the most important application of the Nusselt is that it can help us calculate the convective heat transfer coefficient. How then? You know, the average Nusselt is a function of the Reynolds and Pronto. So experimentally, they have defined the equations like this, which are the empirical correlations. Here RE is Reynolds and PR is Pronto. Here are also dimensionless numbers. I'll talk about them in the future, okay? Depending on the type of convection, whether it's force or free, also the flow is an I don't know internal flow or external one the form of this equation and the parameters could be changed so the Nusselt number is achieved at first by this equation and then the value of the Nusselt could be put in this equation this one and finally the convective heat transfer coefficient could be obtained if we come to a summary I'd say in convective heat transfer, there are several important dimensionless numbers like Reynolds, Prantel, Grashof, Rayleigh, and one of them is Nusselt, which is introduced by Wilhelm Nusselt. Nusselt equals the convective heat transfer coefficient times characteristic length divided by thermal conductivity. The physical interpretations that could be made from Nusselt are First, Nusselt is the ratio of the convective heat transfer to conductive heat transfer at the layer of fluid. The second interpretation, Nusselt is the dimensionless convective heat transfer coefficient. Hence, the Nusselt number is directly correlated with convective heat transfer. The third interpretation, Nusselt is the dimensionless temperature gradient. Nusselt value always is equal or larger than 1. If its value is only 1, it means there is no motion on the fluid layer and only conduction heat transfer exists and there is no convection. But as soon as the fluid gets any motion, the convective heat transfer comes along. The main application of the Nusselt is calculating the convective heat transfer coefficient with the aid of empirical correlations and this equation. So thanks for your watching. Stay tuned, motivated and with me as well.